Good morning. Today is Monday. It is February 26th and it is day five. We are hope you, we really hope that you made it to school in one piece today. I know that the big dump of snow has created um, some challenges for many people uh, getting to and from um, places today. So I'd like to begin by giving thanks for the traditional and ancestral territory that is our meeting ground today. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for generations. We are grateful for the stewardship and teachings of elders and traditional knowledge keepers and the efforts of youth and individuals who continue to protect land and language. Please take this time to acknowledge the caretakers of the land, the First Nations, Métis and Inuit, and those who share and contribute to the land, the four-legged, two-legged, fin-feathered crawlers, trees, plants, water, sun and moon. This reading is an acknowledgement of the historical relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities on Turtle Island and is a call to action to walk together towards reconciliation. Okie dokie, just a couple of days in this school week. So uh, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and then there's no school Thursday and Friday. Um, so just so everybody's fully aware of what's going on with that. At lunch today, um, Miss Gray is gone today. So she doesn't have her lunch group or her after school group. Um, intramurals, second half with Buckner today, drumline after school, dance club, basketball games, at home here versus Crestwood. And then uh, Mrs. Hunter and I have school council after school today. Um, so that is what is happening in our uh, in our school community today. I want to finish this month out strong uh, with our Black History Month um, and honoring today's Black Brilliance. Information is about Viola Davis uh, Desmond, who was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in 1914. She was an African Canadian who uh, ran her own beauty parlor, and oh, I just lost my spot. Gosh darn it! She ran her own beauty parlor and beauty college. In 1946, she decided to go see a movie. She sat on the ground floor, like the main floor of the movie theater, um, which was for white people only at the time. She was arrested and sentenced to 30 days in jail. Many years after her death on April 15, 2010, the t province of Nova Scotia granted an official apology and a free pardon to Viola. Viola's 83-year-old sister, 83 sister, Wanda Robson, was there to accept the apology. Premier Daryl Dextel, Dexter also apologized to Viola's family and all black Nova Scotians for the racism she was subjected to. In 2016, the Bank of Canada announced that Viola would be featured on the $10 bill. So if you have a $10 bill or take a look at, at the $10 bill, um, the lady on there, that is Viola. And so this is her story. Um, and so important for us to know. Um, and so she is featured on the $10 bill and she's, it's, she's the first Canadian woman, um, but the first black Canadian woman to be featured on Canadian money. So, um, Although she had to endure lots of, of horrible things, um, just now you know her story. So a little bit about that. We're going to end uh, this week strong uh, tomorrow and Wednesday uh, with ending up Black History Month. And uh, But that's all I have for you today. I love you and have a fantastic day of learning and stay warm.